Good morning, uh, everyone. How are you? I hope you are doing well. Today, we are going to uh, examine and study Chapter 7, People, Past and Present. The things that we are going to tackle in this chapter uh, are reading skills, which means using original sources, research, using the internet, developing a search plan, writing skills, uh, adding extra information, organizing ideas, and writing from research. As we uh, did every, every time, let's uh, leave this uh, page and go to page 41, because in page 41, we have extracts from A to G. And we have to read these paragraphs before, before going to page 40 to answer the questions here, as you see, because the questions are about the extracts. So we can't understand uh, and answer the uh, questions unless we uh, have read these extracts. Uh, the extracts are about William Shakespeare, Ahmed Shawki, and Agatha Christie, three famous writers. So let's uh, read them. William Shakespeare, 1564-1616, English playwright and poet, recognized in uh, much of the world as the greatest of all dramatists. For someone who lived almost 400 years ago, a surprising amount is none about Shakespeare's, Shakespeare's life. Indeed, we know more about his life than about almost any other writer of his age. And though we know much about his life than uh, about any other writer of his age, but the information that we got about him is uh, ill-documented. Shakespeare wrote nearly all of his plays from, 19, uh, from 1590 to 1611. The great tragedies, including Hamlet, Othello, King Lear, and Macbeth, were written during the first decade of the, 19, uh, of the 1600s. Shakespeare died on April 23, 9, uh, 1616. So A is about William Shakespeare. B. Ahmed Shoki was born in Cairo in 1868 to a middle-class family which was related to the royal family. He was raised by his grandmother. So B is about Ahmed Shoki. Agatha Christie, 1890-1976. She is a British author of mystery novels and short stories is especially famous as the creator of Hercule Poirot, Hercule Poirot, the Belgian detective and Miss Jane Marble. Agatha Christie was born in Turkoy, in the county of Devon. Her father died when she was a child. Christie was educated at home, where her mother encouraged her to write from a very early age. At 16, she was sent to school in Paris, where she studied singing and piano. In 15, uh, in 56, in 56 years, Christie wrote 66 detective novels, among the best of which are The Murder of Roger Ackroyd, Murder on the Orient Express, 1934, Death on the Nile, 1937. In 1967, Christie became a president of the British Detection Club. And in 1971, she was made a dame of the British Empire. Christie died on January the 12th, 1976 with over 100 novels and 103 translations from foreign languages. Christie was, by the time of her death, the best-selling uh, English novelist of all time. So C is about uh, Gatha Christie. As you see, some uh, words are written in bold in some of the paragraphs. 
Why? Because we are going to return back to these words to fill the gaps in some exercises. Now we move to D. D is about Ahmed Shawki. Again, you have a, the uh, date of his birth and death. 1868 and 1932, an Arabic Egyptian poet and dramatist. So a sea poet is written in bold. And dramatist, Shoki produced distinctive poetry that is widely considered to be the most prominent of the 20th century Arabic literary movement. His family was well connected with the court. Court here means Balak. Of the, of the Kadaif of Egypt, Khalifa al-Masri. He attended law school, obtaining a degree in translation. Shoki was then offered a job in the court of the Kadaif Abbas II, which he immediately accepted because, of course, uh, because his family has a relation with the court uh, family, royal family. After a year working in the court of the Kadaif, Shoki was sent to continue his studies in law at the uh, universities at the universities of Montpellier and Paris for three years. Plays. Shoki was the first in Arabic literature to write poetic plays. He wrote five tragedies and two comedies. Poetry. Ashokiyat, his selected works, in four volumes, Arba'za, including Nahj al Burda, a tribute to the uh, Prophet Muhammad. Alayhi salam. Alayhi salatu salam. So, D is about Ahmed Shoki. E also is about Ahmed Shoki. Ahmed Shoki is known as the poet of Arabism and Islam. Shahar al Arab al Muslimin. His collection of poetry, Al Shawqi, Al Shawqiyat, published initially in 1890, remains a classic of Islamic literature. His family's connection to the Kadaif's palace led him to spend his early life in luxurious. In luxurious conditions. يعني وضع مترف. After completing his education in law in Paris in 1893 and spending an additional six months in France, he returned to Egypt celebrating the publishing of the second edition of Ashawqiyat in April 1927. Shawqi was named Poet Laureate of Egypt. Now F is about Shakespeare. Shakespeare's reputation as dramatist, poet, and actor is unique. Sadly, his life story remains ill-documented. معلومات اللي وصلتنا عن حياته كلش قليلة رغم إنه هي أكثر من غيره في زمنه. We do know that Shakespeare was born in Stratford upon Avon in Warwickshire, England and that he was probably educated in the town's free grammar school. Then in 1582, he married Anne Hathaway. The first collected edition of Shakespeare's works was published after his death in 1623. And is known as the first folio. The plays fall into the categories of history, tragedy, comedy, and tragic comedy. So these are rich information about uh, William Shakespeare. Now G, Agatha Christie, 1890-1976, an English novelist who was a, prolif a, a prolific يعني منتجة, a prolific writer of mystery stories. She was born in Turkey. The mysterious affair as styles 
1920 began her career. Hercule Poirot is the hero of many of her works, including the classic bestseller, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd, 1926. In 1930, while traveling in the Middle East, Christie, uh, Christie met the noted English archaeologist, Sir Max Malwin. They were married that year. And from that time on, Christie accompanied her husband on annual trips to Iraq and Syria. In 1971, she was made a dame commander of the Order of the Brit British Empire. Also, this is rich information about Agatha Christie. So, as you see, we have here, uh, I think, seven uh, paragraphs or extracts about uh, three famous uh, writers and playwrights. And these are the photo, the pictures for them. Shakespeare, William Shakespeare, Agatha Christie, and Ahmed Shawki. Now we'll turn back to page 40 to answer the questions here. So reading, three famous writers. These are three famous writers. Question number one, think of two books you have read recently. So you have to think about two books or books you have read recently, these days. Who wrote them? What is the name of uh, the writer of each book? What were they about and what is the information in each one? What each uh, book is about? And why did you read them? What attracts your attention? Why uh, you are interested in reading them? Discuss with a partner. As you know, I divided your class into groups of uh, three persons. Each uh, group contains uh, three uh, students. So I want you, uh, as a group, uh, discuss uh, this question. Which two books that you have read, the name of the authors, and what, attract, what attracts your attention? What makes you read them? So discuss it uh, with your partners. Okay. Now, number two, look quickly at extracts A to G on page 42 or 41. We have already read them, which ones are about. So if you turn back in your books to the extracts to page 41 and uh, see which paragraph exactly is about William Shakespeare, you will discover that uh, A and F is about William Shakespeare. A and F is about William Shakespeare. Which about Agatha Christie? C is about Agatha Christie and G is about Agatha Christie. Which about Ahmed Shawki? B is about Ahmed Shawki. D is about Ahmed Shawki. And E is about Ahmed Shawki. That's why you see here we have uh, uh, three blanks for Ahmed Shawki. Okay, now we answer. Uh, question number two. Let's go to question number three. Scan the extracts from websites and complete the notes in the chart. We have a chart here, as you see, the chart. So you should, uh, uh, some information are written horizontally and some are written vertically, as you see. But first, Let's uh, read study skill here using original sources. Decide what information you need from a source. Suppose uh, I'm searching for Shakespeare. What I'm searching, what information I'm searching uh, of or about. I'm searching about the country or I'm searching about the born or early life and family. So I have to decide what information I need to search. Then if I, I uh, uh, found, uh, if I, uh, sorry, if I find a text about Shakespeare, I have to scan the text to discover the relevant information that I need. 
Original sources often have difficult language and unknown vocabulary. So don't worry about not understanding everything. Suppose you, you find a, a text and there are some information that you don't know. Like, for example, when we have read uh, this extract, A, and suppose you, you discover that there are uh, some information in which you don't know. Like, for instance, a surprising amount. What is the meaning of surprise here? Maybe you don't know. So first, guess the meaning. Guess the meaning of uh, the word from the context, from what comes after and what comes before. From this uh, information, before and after, you can guess the meaning of a word. And suppose you don't understand the meaning, even though you search what comes after and what comes before, you can't understand the meaning. Then you have to use a dictionary. It is not relevant to use the dictionary all the time. First, you have to depend, depend on yourself. First, you have to depend on yourself and you try to understand the meaning from the context. Work hard and try to understand the meaning of a word from the context. And if you discover that you can't, of, co of course, not all the time you can't, but suppose you can't in one word or another, then you have to use a dictionary or you have to use a different source in which this text is about, uh, which is using the internet. So uh, either the dictionary or the another, another source, which is the dictionary. So, uh, sorry, uh, dictionary or the internet. So uh, this is your duty. You have to fill the information here, either depending on a dictionary or you depend on another source, in, uh, which I mean the internet. Of course, you have extracts, and you can, from the extracts also, depend on them to fill the information here. Like, for instance, Shakespeare, the country is uh, England. I got the information from the extract. Born, for instance, in uh, 1564. Also, I got the information from the extract. Sometimes you don't have, you don't have the information in the extract. So you have to depend on the internet or on uh, books. What uh, uh, relevant information you have, uh, relevant sources you have, you can depend on them. So this is your uh, duty, duty for the next lecture. Okay, let's move to four. Match the dictionary definitions with a word, please pay attention to this, with a word in bold. If you remember, I told you, that there are some words in which they are written in bold, like published, playwright, tragedies, in some of the uh, extracts or paragraphs. These uh, intentionally uh, have been written in bold because you are going to fill the gaps here. So this is definition. This is a definition. We uh, need only a name for... Uh, for which the definition is given. The names are, uh, you can take, in, uh, take in them from uh, the extracts or paragraphs in, on page 41. So let's try the eighth question. Number one, A blank is someone who writes poetry. A blank is someone who writes a poetry. A poet is someone who writes poetry. A poet. I got it from here. I got it from uh, the paragraphs here. Egyptian poet and dramatist, he distinctive poetry. So he writes poetry, a poet. So here you can add a poet. Okay, number two. If a subject is... As you see here, as if there, uh, these are two blanks. There is dash here. You see a dash? There is very little written information about it. If a subject is ill documented, there is very little written information about it. Ill documented. And it is here, dash, ill documented. Less information means less information. Ill-documented. 
either the information is incorrect or it, they are less than is required. Okay, number three. A blank is a book. Blank means farag. Is a book that is built by a very large number of people. A bestseller is a book <coughs> that is built by a very large number of people. Four. If you have a book, if you have a book blank, you have it prepared and printed for sale. If you have a book published, you have it prepared and printed for sale. Five, a blank is a play that has a sad ending. A tragedy is a play that has a sad ending. And it means that the word here will start with a vowel because an, we have an here. As someone who writes books, an author is someone who writes books. A blank is someone who writes plays. A playwright, a playwright is someone who writes, who writes Plays. And finally, eight, a blank is a play or film that makes you laugh. A comedy is a play or film that makes you laugh. Okay, I believe you all got the answers. Now let's move to page 42. 42. Okay. Information on the net. As I as I uh, told you, you can depend on the dictionary, you can depend on extracts, you can depend on books, or you can depend on the net. But which engine you should depend on to get the information? So suppose we have one and two here. For someone who lived almost 400 years ago, a surprising amount is none about Shakespeare's life. So a surprising amount is none about Shakespeare's life. Indeed, we know more about his life than about almost any other writer of his age. You can put this, these two lines in the, in the engine of one of these websites we are going to read now and have a look on them. And you are going to discover so many information about Shakespeare. And though we have a surprising amount about Shakespeare's life, sadly, his life story remains ill documented. Some of the information is not true, or they are less than required. Okay, let's move to study skill using the internet. Using the internet. Either you said net or internet. The internet is a huge resource. Yes, I do agree. It is a huge resource. But we should know which engine to use to get the information. So get to know different types of sites for finding information. We have different sites. Each one of them is... Uh, is, uh, is specific for something. So let's see number one, search engines www.google.com and www.yahoo.com. I believe you all know these two engines. We use them to find a fact, such as the boiling point of mercury. We can know this from these two engines. Some sites, like for example, www.ask.uk.com, for example, are designed so that you type, type in a question, such as, what is the boiling point of mercury? Mama, uh, have a site is very important because people will answer you they are, who, who are going to answer you, they are experts. 
So they are uh, going to give you a scientific answer. So instead of using these two uh, engines, you can depend on this one. Very uh, specialists are there and they can answer your questions immediately. Okay, online encyclopedias, like for example, www.wikipedia.org or www.bartleby.com for more complete factual information, such as the life cycle of the mosquito. يعني دورة حياة البعوضة. Subject directories like www.bubl.ac.uk or www.rdn.ac.uk for specialist online and written resources linked to a specific subject like economics, history, etc. Such as World History 500 to 1799 plus country. Remember that information from websites is not always reliable. So don't depend on one engine only. Search more than one engine to, uh, engine to be sure. So check information on two or more sites. Okay. Let's try here. Number two. Read study skills, these study skills, read them. Then come to these questions, study skills, developing a search plan. To make an internet search more efficient and reliable, develop a search plan. What is a search plan? Ask yourself questions. What is the general search topic? What are you searching in particular? A name, a country, a medicine? What is the keyword? What are you searching in particular? Okay, what information do I need to find out? What information do I need? So if I uh, got, uh, if I, if I, uh, uh, when I'm searching, if I get a text, what information from the text I'm searching exactly? What information do I need exactly from that text? What keywords and phrases will help me? What to put in the engine to get the information, the exact information? Because sometimes when you give the information in the website, like for example in Google, you are searching for particular information, you can't get that information. Uh, so what, uh, what should you do? You have to revise the words. Change them. Use another keyword. Be more specific to get the information. In this way, you are going to get the information that you are searching of. Okay, now let's move to number two after reading the study skill. What is Shaban famous for? Of course, Shaban is the name. And if you write down Shaban famous for or this question in particular, you put it in the engine, you will discover that Chopin is um, a piano mus a musician and he writes a uh, composition concerning piano. I got this information from the internet from different websites. Okay? Okay, now let's move to number two. When did Jane Austen write Persuasion? Jane Austen is a British writer. So if you want to know what she writes, you have to just put Jane Austen, Colin, Persuasion. يعني خلي John Austen, John Austen, وبعدين Colin, نقطة على نقطة, then Persuasion. You will find so many informations from different websites. If you put it in Google, for instance, you will discover uh, different sites. Uh, they mention uh, many things about persuasion. And you might uh, find that uh, she writes persuasion in 1816. 
Also, I got this information from the websites. Okay, number three, what is Angolia's main export? So you put you put in the engine, uh, Angolia's main expert, and you will discover that it is famous by oil and uh, oil derivatives. يعني النفط واشتقاقاته. Now let's try uh, this information, and we put them in the engines. Number three, what type of internet internet site would answer the questions one to six? Which internet site you are going to depend on? Identify and underline the keywords. So you have to choose the keywords from these to put them in the engine. And then look up the information. And if you got the information, the first sites you are going to see, then you have to uh, read the text. Read the text. So let's, uh, let's try this. Okay, let's open uh, Google, for instance, Google. Okay, let's write down, for instance, Jane Austen. Then colon, then I write persuasion. Okay, then I enter. There is Wikipedia and here are many different sites. Goodreads. So as you see, many sites and you have different Amazon study guide. Okay, so you can have, so and here Google, you have uh, options, many, many options to search. And you can get uh, the exact date in which, as you see, it is from Wikipedia, it is 1817. Some say, uh, say it is uh, 1816. Wikipedia said, it is 1817. I got it from another website. It is 1816. So this is the way in which you can search or you can depend on any websites mentioned above. Okay. So what is the, what is the, uh -huh. it says here, compare answers from at least two different sites. Is the information the same? So don't depend on one site. Okay. Uh, let's start. What is the average summer temperature in Amman? So, which keywords you are going to choose? Of course, you are going to choose uh, uh, summer temperature in Amman. And you will see. And try more than one engine. More than one site. Okay, number two. I want you to get this information in the next lecture. This is your duty. Okay. How far is the sun from the earth? So how far the sun from the earth? When was the English author Charles Dickens born? So I want the date when he was born. Okay, four, what percentage of the human body is water? How much water? How much water contains the human body? Okay, what is the average rainfall in the Amazon in May and December? So I'm searching about rainfall, the average of rainfall in the Amazon. Okay, six, what are the main stages of the life cycle of a butterfly? A butterfly, life circle, uh, sorry, life cycle. Life cycle of a butterfly. Life cycle. So you can find it also from the sites, from the engines. This is your duty. Okay. Now we are going to complete four and five, and then we will stop and continue the next lecture biographies. Okay. Four, read the notes about the two famous people, 
So these are two famous people. We are going to have a look on them. Three facts about each person are incorrect. Can you guess which ones? So each one has three incorrect information about them. Each one uh, has three incorrect information about her or uh, him. Let's see them. Use the internet to find and correct the mistakes. So I have to depend on the internet for the correct information to correct the mistakes. Underline keywords or phrases to search for. Okay. Mary Curie, born in France, 1867. The first woman to win two Nobel Prizes. So she win. She wins two Nobel Prizes. Famous for discovery. With the husband Pierre, of Radium. Couple got the Nobel Prize for peace in 1903. After husband's death, continued working. 1921 won the Nobel Prize for chemistry. Let's search the web to get the information about Curie. The information from uh, the net I got, she born in Poland instead of France. So this is the first incorrect information. And uh, she got the Nobel Prize for physics, not for peace, in 1903. Physics. And uh, in 1911, she won the Nobel Prize for chemistry. 1911, not 1921. So these are three incorrect information. Poland, physics, and 1911. The other one, Zaidi Zedan, born in 1975, Paris, France. One of the best footballers, football, footballers of all time. Played for France many times. Scored two goals in 1998, World Cup final, against Argentina. France won 3-0 and one goal in 2006, World Cup final. Also, we expect three incorrect information here. After searching the web, I discovered that he was born in 1972 in Marsilia. Not in France, in Marsilia, in 1972. And the third incorrect information actually uh, scored two goals in 1998 World Cup final uh, against uh, Brazil, against Brazil, not Argentina, against Brazil, not Argentina. And France won three to zero against Brazil. So these are three incorrect information about Zaidi Din Zaidan. Uh, we will stop till here. And uh, the next lecture we will start biographies. Uh, and also uh, I want you to be ready. And uh, you are going to have duty also. So uh, we'll stop here. I hope that you understand uh, the uh, information and uh, the meaning of the words. If you don't understand, you can read it more than one time. You can understand the meaning from the, con uh, the context or you uh, can uh, search uh, the dictionary. Thank you very much for your time and concern. Thanks a lot. Bye.